elected as uh, an MLA in 2008. He represents the constituency of Livingston McLeod, which is uh, just south of uh, Calgary here. He actually has, uh, was, he was elected in 2008. He served as a parliamentary assistant in sustainable resource development. And then more recently, he served on a number of government committees, including uh, Treasury Board, Agenda and Priorities, Operations Committee, uh, Cabinet Policy, and then he was Vice Chair of the uh, Property Rates Task Force. He also a was a Municipal Councillor, uh, and uh, he and his family live in Nanton, and uh, he is currently serving as the Minister of Ag and uh, Rural Development, so we're indeed very pleased to have him provide us with our opening marks this morning. So, uh, there you go. Would you give a warm welcome to Minister Berger? all about time. Just landed, just got off the car door and said, hurry, they're standing there waiting for us. So here we are. Good morning everyone, it's a pleasure to join you here this morning. And I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. I'm pleased to be here. I want to first bring greetings on behalf of our Premier, the Honorable Alison Redford, as well as my colleagues at the Alberta Legislature. For agriculture, and the importance of agriculture, I don't think we can stress enough. Our government knows how important agriculture industry is to Alberta and to the economy of Alberta. It's our second largest industry. It's our largest renewable industry. And being renewable, it means sometime in the future it will also be our largest industry again. That's why our Premier has tasked me with bringing agriculture to the forefront once again. And in 2012, with your help, I'll be working to do that. Our ministry is committed to working with you to ensure Alberta's agricultural industry stays strong and vibrant and grows. I've personally worked in agriculture most of my life. And with the help of my family, I'm continuing to both farm and ranch. There's a lot of uh, crowded days there when you get home for the weekend, but it's good. It's a great industry, but it can be a hard business, as we all know. But of course, the same as you, experiences have taught me that agriculture isn't just another industry. It's always going to be a key to the cultural, social, and economic engines of our province. We're not just talking about the past, we're talking about the future. One of my main priorities in 2012 will be engaging the next generation of ag producers for Alberta. As our population in agriculture is aging, we're now at an average of 51 for the province, 52 for Canada, and 50, 56, 57 for the U.S. We need to be looking at succession planning and engaging youth into agriculture. We need to start revitalizing our industry and attracting more young people to careers in agriculture. Our young people need to be engaged, and I don't just mean being involved in hands-on work. I mean all the way across the spectrum we have opportunities to engage in, in our industry. In 2012, I plan to start working at ways to engage university and college graduates with new opportunities and new ideas. I plan to form a council dedicated to engaging young producers. The next generation of producers advisory council Details are currently being finalized, and you can expect to hear more about that in the very near future. We've just announced $2 million in funding for agriculture societies to support leadership development for the next generation of producers, farm safety programs, and ongoing initiatives within local communities. It's an opportunity for our ag societies to step up and say, come up with ideas how they feel they can engage the next generation at local level which is going to be more fitting to where you are, where they are, rather than a one-size-fits-all. I expect we'll have original ideas coming from all over the province. This funding will help support programs and encourage our youth to become involved in our agricultural industry. And I want to ask all of you to do your part, get engaged, and encourage young people to get involved in the industry, work with them, find ways of integrating them as well as new technologies 
business practices to improve our productivity and the sustainability of our agriculture industry. Of course, this morning you're taking a step in this direction in attending this learning seminar today. As you know, technologies such as GPS and downloadable software applications for cell phones and iPods are everywhere now. And even if we can use them to increase our profitability and sustainability, we should be using them, we should be embracing that technology. We also need to invest in the future of agriculture by adopting these new technologies, new research ideas, and extension opportunities. Alberta has a few mechanisms to assist producers to access new technologies and innovations. The Federal Provincial Growing Forward Program provides environmental, business leadership, and efficiency grants to producers and processors wanting to enhance their businesses. Alberta also invests in the agriculture industry through research into bio-industrial opportunities, crop development, pest control, food safety, and a robust traceability system, just to name a few. Investing in research and innovation will help Alberta to remain globally competitive and continue to attract the investment needed to continue to build and, and develop our resources. We all have a role to play and we need to work hard to ensure that we meet increasing world demand. As everyone here probably knows, in the next few years, there will only be six countries in the world that can produce more than they consume. Canada is well positioned in that group to take advantage of that opportunity. And Alberta is a huge part of Canadian production. Increasing market access and staying competitive in a global economy are going to be crucial for all of us. Alberta has the potential to be a major player in the global agriculture and agri-food market. And that's why our government is working to forge international relationships to promote Alberta as a leader in the global marketplace. I've been proud of industry's involvement in these pursuits as well. I know that if we continue to work together, we will find solutions for the issues we face today and the issues we will face in the future. We will engage our youth, tapping into their energy, their enthusiasm, and together we will explore new ideas that help us get more of our products into the global marketplace, making Alberta not a preferred supplier, but the preferred supplier of agricultural products. These are good times for our industry, and I think they're only going to get better. I look forward to working with you to make that happen. I believe that we have a bright future in agriculture. Agriculture is opportunity. Alberta is opportunity. I'd like to leave you with best wishes for continued success, and thank you for enjoy inviting me to join you this morning. Hope you enjoy the rest of the conference, and thank you very much.